In this episode, we're discussing how to place an early stage tech company with the right customers, which includes identifying the customers that are most going to be finding value in this technology currently, now, and also who in that customer base is the right one to approach. Is it the users or is it their bosses? Enjoy. Peter Rex is a real estate entrepreneur who's creating the next trillion dollar business. In this vlog, for the first time, you'll get to see behind the curtain of how a tech empire is built from the ground up. Creating technology to serve real estate owners and operators, Pete will show the meetings that no one else will show you, reveal how startups are actually built, and what being a tech entrepreneur is really like. Welcome to Tech with Rex. I'm starting to think through like, what is it that we want to do with Get Done? Do we want to become like a CMMS that applies to like a whole bunch of industries? Or do we want to continue to make like a big, uh, like take a big chunk out of property management and like continue to build there and there? Feel where the market's pulling you a little bit, start testing it a little bit. But generally my, my philosophy is go, go to smaller, medium, medium sized businesses. So like 95% of real estate is owned by small, small properties. Yeah. But serving those small owners with a tool like this is where I'd want to go. As you go down channel, once you get to like below 90 units, they can't really afford on-site people. You know what I'm saying? Maybe one person, but maybe two at most. And then most stuff is really small properties, like three and four unit or just single family homes. Yeah. Then they really need routing capability. Yeah. Because they don't have folks to do it. I think we totally agree, Pete. Um, the feedback that we got after speaking to a few different customers was that Although there's clearly a need for a system like that to help them manage maintenance without having additional value propositions, like not only do we manage your maintenance, but if you don't have maintainers, we're gonna kick your job out to an external vendor or something like that. Without having that additional capability, the need is not greater than other needs, right? It's like a lower priority than sourcing external vendors or something else, right? So they clearly see that there's a but, lack. But here, here the, the key way to sell this thing though, man, just so, just cause like the, uh I was talking to this one guy, uh, he's been in the business forever, he's out of Boston, but he's sort of like an OG in the space. But um, he was just, he was saying that all, all you really need to do with any of these technology companies is just show that it boosts NOI. Yeah. So if you can show that you drop costs on maintenance by using this tool, you're gonna sell to every single owner. Cause all you gotta do is just go to the top and sell at the top and they'll go implement it. Yeah. Cause it saves money. And everybody, as he says, like everybody worships at the altar of NOI. Yep. In this business, that's the altar is NOI. Basically, they'll just take it. It's like they just get free money. Yeah. Why wouldn't they take your product? Yep. But that's what I think you need to do is show by the data. And then you get expansion. Because then once you get expansion, then you're going to get exposed to more vendors that will sign on to your stuff. And then you could throw out the external vendors to get jobs picked up by a marketplace. The next step of Get Done, where we look at external vendors, um, either tap into a network like Prime Pro or something like that for those vendors versus starting to build our own vendor networks. I think that's one question that's on my mind a little bit. What does that look like? Yeah. Do we get vendors to sign onto our platform? Yeah. And then, or do we tap into some kind of network, Prime Pro, uh, you know, you name it, some kind of like a on-demand or like, you know, Upwork or Handy or something. Do we tap into some network like that? Yeah, I, I mean, well, ultimately these things could easily synergize. So like job call can be getting jobs easily into the platform, which then could put jobs in your platform. Yep. But then Prime Pro could have vendors that could be feeding off that ecosystem. Yep. Because even having jobs on Prime Pro would be a big incentive for people to want to become pros on Prime Pro. Yep. To get access to jobs, you know. Absolutely. So I think these things could synergize well, but you got, it's probably be down the road a little bit as they get more critical mass, as you guys get better starting to make sure that it integrates with each other. But also like your customers putting in their existing vendors starts building up your Yeah, that's database. what I initially thought is like, that's, that's probably your fastest way to get it. But the, the fast way to get customers, I think will, will be just show that you actually improve NOI. Yep. And the best way to show that is you just drop costs. Just Thanks dude. Thanks, yeah, appreciate yeah, it. Man. Yeah, for sure. Hi, right, Bruno. Good stuff, man. You having fun, man? Yeah. Thank you for watching. You get to see the inside scoop on how technology is actually built and be a part of this rocket ship. Be sure to spread the word and keep following us. Thank you.